One of the tricky Java interview questions you might encounter is this. Why does 1 equal to 1 evaluated to true, but 1000 equal to 1000 evaluated to false when dealing with integer objects? In Java, wrapper classes allow us to use primitive data types like int and char as objects. This adds flexibility, but it also introduces some surprising subtleties. In this video, let's explore one such subtlety. Why does 1 equal to 1 evaluated to true, but 1000 equal to 1000 evaluated to false when dealing with integer objects? Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bytes. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product-based organization. Let's look at this example. Here, we created two integer objects, one using the value of method provided by the integer class and the other by directly assigning a value 10. We then compare the two integer objects using both the equal to operator and the equals method. In this case, both the comparisons output to true. All good, right? Not really. Things change with a larger number, like 350 or 1000. Look at this example. Why is the output different here? To understand that, we need to look at Java wrapper classes. Wrapper classes in Java include integer, characters, double and others. They encapsulate a primitive type in an object, allowing primitives to be used in context requiring objects, such as in collections like array list. The integer corresponds to the int data type, while double corresponds to double and so on. Let's look at this statement again. Here, we are assigning the value 350 to a variable named b. Even though we don't use new operator, Java automatically converts the number to an integer object behind the scenes. This process is called boxing. Boxing is the process of converting a primitive data type into its corresponding wrapper class object, such as converting an int into an integer in Java. Unboxing is the process of converting a wrapper class object back into its corresponding primitive data type, such as converting an integer back into an int. Autoboxing is the automatic conversion that the Java compiler makes between the primitive data types and their corresponding object wrapper classes. For example, when we assign a primitive int to an integer object, autoboxing occurs. Remember the question? Why does 1 equal to 1 evaluated to true, but 1000 equal to 1000 evaluated to false when dealing with integer objects in Java? The answer involves an important concept in Java, object caching. Java optimizes memory and performance by caching frequently used objects. This means that for certain value ranges, the JVM reuses the same instance of the wrapper class. This is known as object caching. For the integer class, values between minus 128 and 127 are cached. This caching mechanism ensures that any two integer objects representing the same value within this range refer to the same memory location. But why only values within the range minus 127 to plus 128 are cached for integer objects? Smaller integer values are frequently used in programming. By caching these commonly used values, Java can optimize performance and memory usage for a large number of applications. Values like 0, 1, and minus 1 are especially common in loops, array indices, and basic arithmetic operations. Object caching helps in reducing memory usage. By reusing common instances, the JVM conserves memory. Object caching also improves performance. Creating new objects can be expensive in terms of time and resources. Reusing objects improves efficiency. Now, let's understand how the equal to operator works. In Java, the equal to operator checks for reference equality when used with objects. It means it checks whether 
two references point to the same memory location. Here is a clear example to illustrate this behavior. Integers a and b each with value 1 are within the minus 127 to plus 128 range and are cached. Variables a and b refer to the same cached object. Therefore, a equal to b evaluates to true. Integers x and y each with value 1000 are outside the minus 127 to plus 128 range and hence are not cached. Variables x and y refer to different objects. Thus, x equal to y evaluates to false. The object cache mechanism in Java for wrapper classes like integer is used when creating objects using auto boxing or the value of method. It does not apply when creating the wrapper object using the new operator and the constructor. Integer object A is created through auto boxing and B by directly assigning a value 100. Auto boxing internally calls value of method. So, in both the statements, Java uses the integer classes value of method. And as we discussed, value of method applies caching for values within the range of minus 128 to plus 127. The value of method checks if the integer value falls within the cached range. If it does, it returns the cached object. Otherwise, it creates a new integer object. When we create an integer object using the new keyword and the constructor, Java always creates a new object regardless of the value. This means the object caching mechanism is not used. Here is a simplified table showing the ranges for caching mechanism of various wrapper classes in Java. To correctly compare the values of wrapper objects, use the equals method which compares the actual values within the objects rather than their references. The equals method ensures a value equality by comparing the content of the objects, making it the appropriate choice for value comparisons. In Java, understanding object caching and the equal to operator is key. The equal to operator checks if two references point to the same object. If this operator is used without the knowledge of object caching, it can cause unexpected results for values outside the cached range. Use the equals method for wrapper objects value comparisons. This helps write efficient and bug free code. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics. Do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies, system design, coding, big data, and career growth. My name is Rupa, and I thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time.